What's up everyone, Jossie here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about tech roles that do not require coding. Before we continue, I wanna thank Hirect for sponsoring this video. Recently, I've been pushing out a lot of TikTok content, so I would greatly appreciate it if you all gave me a follow on TikTok. I post every day throughout the weekday, so Monday through Friday, you could expect one to two posts each day. It's a lot easier to respond to comments and even make videos based on comments and questions, which is one of my favorite features that TikTok has to offer. So be sure to give me a follow on there and Instagram as well. The inspiration from this video really came from one of my TikTok videos where I talked about different tech jobs that people should pursue that are paying six figures. In the comment section, there were some people talking about tech roles that didn't necessarily require programming. And some of these comments got a ton of likes, a lot of engagement. I figured it would make sense to make a video talking about these tech adjacent roles. I definitely appreciate it if you all hit the thumbs up. It helps out with the algorithm and my channel in general. Also, YouTube will push out this video to more people. And I think this video is gonna be informative and helpful for those who are trying to break into the tech industry. I also know that a lot of you all who watch my videos aren't subscribed and I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and join this incredible community and to watch more content like this that I release on a weekly basis. So the first job that I wanna talk about in this list of tech roles that don't require coding is technical program manager or technical product manager. The average salary for a technical program manager, AKA a TPM is $125,000 and is set to grow 15% by 2024. Technical program managers are still program managers, hence the name program manager is still in the title, but their main responsibility is to drive the development for the product. They oversee many projects for a company are expected to have the same relationship with customers and stakeholders like a program manager would, but technical program managers have more of a technical background and work more closely with the development and engineering teams. Technical program managers help businesses evolve their products through their technical expertise and program management experience. So a lot of times you'll see TPM roles that have a specific expertise that they're looking for, like maybe UI UX, cloud development, software engineering, mobile development. As a technical program manager, it is expected that you are responsible for defining requirements, defining project scopes, managing schedules, reviewing solutions for customers, and generating reports. Before we continue, I wanna take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Hirect and how they created the first ever chat-based job search slash recruiting app that matches job applicants and recruiters through artificial intelligence. One thing I noticed when using HireRect app is its experience. As a front end engineer, I greatly appreciate apps that have really easy user experiences and are very intuitive and easy to follow. Applying to jobs is already stressful enough. HireRect app makes it really easy for you to create an account, add your relevant work experience and other relevant information for you so you can get matched up with the perfect job. Another really cool thing about HireRect app is that you don't need to continuously fill out separate applications and profiles to apply to jobs. You fill out your profile once and you're good to go. Another neat feature that Hirect offers, Hirect requires that all companies list their salary ranges for the jobs that they're posting. So there's no guessing or awkward compensation talks. So what are your salary expectations for this role? Um, that's a great question. I think I'd like to learn more about the role before I actually throw a number out there. Are you sure you just can't give me like a range? I definitely think it's important that I continue the interview process and learn more about the role and the responsibilities and expectations that you have for me before I throw a number out there. You can hop on a video interview with CEOs, founders, and hiring managers all from the HireRect app. 
Some of the job listings are for companies that are smaller or startups. So you can actually see that the CEO or the founder posted the job and how active they've been on the app. Do you like working from home? You can filter your search for remote jobs only. Last but not least, HireRect is free for all users, which is incredible considering the access you're gaining, like one, being able to see how active the job lister is, having video interviews with founders and CEOs, and having one profile that you can use for all the jobs you apply to. Click my link in the description box to download the HireRect app for Android or iOS so you can land your next dream tech job. Once again, thank you to HireRect for sponsoring this video. This next role probably has one of the weirdest like job names ever. And whenever I explain this role to someone because my wife has the license that you need to do this role, I just like give up because when I try to explain it to them, it just doesn't make sense because if you don't know anything about like programming and software development and the process of programming, it just doesn't make any sense. The next job that I wanna talk about is Scrum Master. Now some of you all are probably like, what the heck is a Scrum Master? Y'all tech folks really do be making up jobs. Scrum Masters are in charge of the agile process that the Scrum teams follow and ensures that the company or the department are following agile and Scrum frameworks. When a project gets pushed through and it's ready to get started, the deadline is created by the program manager, maybe the manager or director as well, and the customer. So they promise this deadline for the stakeholders or customers at this project, or this product, feature, whatever it is, is going to get done. And the developers just need to build it in time. So that's kind of like a waterfall method. And then there are those smaller tasks that maybe you're working on as a developer and you're expected to complete every task in the same allotted time frame, even though we know as developers, every task isn't weighted the same. That can go downhill really quickly and can create a very toxic environment because program managers could have an iron fist and say, hey, I need this done now or ASAP. And let's just be honest, business folks really have no idea how long it takes to complete programmatic complex business logic. And when they have those type of demands that can create tension and cause division between development teams and product. Trust me, I've seen a product manager not be empathetic to the developer team. And it's not a pretty sight. Their role is a more senior position. They kind of can act as like not a manager per se, but they have that kind of pool. So when a program manager comes in, has these demands, maybe there's a new feature that needs to be built and they need it done in a week or whatever, the Scrum Master's job is to come in and say, hey buddy, we can't do that. We have a backlog of items that we're gonna be working on. We also have our items that we're working on for this sprint. Oh, by the way, Sprints are two weeks long, and when software development teams are working in a Scrum framework, they work in sprints, so increments of two weeks. The next job that I low-key considered doing, and I technically am in this department, but I'm a software engineer, and that is UX designer. They have an average salary of $103,000. UX designers grew 20% from 2019 to 2020. So it's safe to say that it has a pretty good job outlook and is definitely in demand. So UX stands for user experience. You can think of UX designers as the ones who humanize technology. UX designers are in charge of making products usable and accessible for humans. UX designers are responsible for bridging the gap between the users, the engineering teams, and the stakeholders. The next job that I wanna talk about, it is pretty similar in how people kinda of interchange the two or get them confused. The next role is product designer, and they have an average salary of $105,000. Product designers are responsible for overseeing the design process. This is a very hands-on role and your skill sets are vital for landing a job. So you need to have skill sets in Adobe Photoshop, Adobe, some sort of prototyping application like Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, and Adobe Illustrator. 
Product designers typically work hand in hand with developers. Once a new task is added to Jira, that's maybe a new feature or an improvement of an existing feature. Typically the designer will create the design for the new feature or improvement and then hand over those assets to the developer to translate into code. So as a product designer, it is expected that you obviously design. <laughs> Think about the user's experience and typically they fold UX principles into their designs or collaborate with the UX team. Also work cross-functionally with stakeholders, the engineering team, and researchers. The next role is a role, I'm gonna be honest with you, I never really thought about this role. I've heard of it before. This was like the role that a lot of people were talking about in my TikTok comment section, and that is tech sales. Tech sales has an average salary of $93,000 and a growth rate of 13% through 2026. Tech sales people are responsible for selling technology. I think that's pretty straightforward. Tech sales solves unique challenges for consumers by helping them improve the efficiency of their business through the selling of their products and services. You are responsible for connecting customers with technology that solve their problems or unique challenges. Think of a tech salesperson as like the Dwight Schrute of the office, but instead of them selling paper, maybe they're selling you the latest and greatest cloud service. So that concludes this video. If you're still here, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below some tech roles that you're interested in, maybe some tech adjacent non-coding roles that I didn't talk about that you think are great. I definitely look forward to hearing what you all have to say in the comment section. I love interacting with you all. And, and once again, thank you to Hirect for sponsoring this video. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I will see you all soon. Peace.